right, that Thank was you. really fun. Uh, we're going to try to move on to another rookie quarterback that had success on one. Sunday. No, sorry, Dan, you're out. <laughs> Caleb Williams looked like a different passer against the Panthers on throws at least 15 yards downfield. He went four for four for 108 yards, including two touchdowns to DJ Moore. During the first four weeks of the season, he completed just 17% of those throws. That's the worst in the NFL through three interceptions tied for the most. Here's what Williams had to say about getting in sync with his O-line earlier today. I mean, it obviously helps me when they, you know, can, can create more depth in the pocket. No, but it's it's been great. Um, just getting more comfortable, um, understanding, you know, how you know my offensive lineman blocks, understanding and, and filling it out in the pocket. So just, just getting used to everybody and, and things like that. And I think they're all, you know, getting used to me, how I throw, you know, uh, where I tend to be in the pocket and things like that. And I think uh, things have been uh, settling down for all of us, I would say. Um, I think it's it's been uh, it's been a joy from the first game to to now um, to be able to progress, have constant communication, you know, from the from the teammates um, and uh, from the coaches. We give Dan the the serious stuff. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. What are you seeing from Caleb on tape? Well, it's interesting when Caleb says things settling down a little bit because yeah. the tape shows great development growth when it comes to getting through yeah. his progressions in the last two weeks and not being stuck on a certain guy. He's going to look to the middle of the field for that crossing route. The post is an alert at the bottom, but you're really trying to get that crossing route is two to that in route is three. Neither of them are there. Take the check down, even though it's third and 11. And then your, your other guy's got to go earn his scholarship. Getting through that progression from one to two to three. Very impressive by Caleb Williams and not getting stuck. Another opportunity where you have a little bit of a unique concept. It's a deep curl, and then we've got a push-up out route as a flat, but then that number three is a wheel route that's really an alert. But it's only if that corner bites down on the curl. Yep, he sees it and then rips that ball down the sideline. Mm. Fantastic not getting stuck on number one or number two. And then the third of DJ Moore, one of the highlight throws of the weekend, certainly for DJ, excuse me, Caleb, up top trips into the formation, solo at the bottom. I got a solo post at the bottom of DJ Moore. I'm trying to fake like a flat screen up top, and it's a alert to try to get that seam to Keenan Allen, but DJ's the guy backside. Only if that safety flies while he's peeking there, which he does, mm. and Caleb gets backside. Beautiful. Yeah, that's growth over the last yeah. couple weeks of him kind of allowing the defense to tell him where his eyes should be. If he continues to do that, then the passing game will only grow in Chicago. Mm. Caleb became the first Bears rookie with 300 pass yards and no interceptions in a game. So Ever? Yeah, ever. Wow. Yeah, cool. he's, he's a lot better the past couple weeks. Huge matchup in Baltimore Sunday. Jaden Daniels and the Commanders on a four-game win streak, taking on Lamar Jackson, coming off his best game of the season, winning a close one over the Bengals. Both quarterbacks spoke just moments ago. Listen to this. Goes back some time. Um, it's it's kind of like a big bro, little bro um, type of thing. Uh, but it's mutual respect between both. Yeah, I've been, I've been catching uh, glimpses of um, – him, his play, his play on uh, social media and stuff like that, and he's he's going off. You doing what we seen in college? What got him to Heisman? I doubt. Um, I don't like when people really like try to compare me to Lamar, um, and vice versa. Uh, you know, we're two different players, um, and just go out there, just uh, you know, just appreciate what the uh, quarterback play is being played. So that's what I try to do is just appreciate everybody for who they are. I can't wait for this game. Uh, Lamar Jackson and Jaden Daniels possess a combination of throwing and running ability the game has rarely seen. We're not saying that they're the same player, obviously, to Jaden's point there. But Jackson, Daniels, and Mike Vick are the only players in NFL history to throw for 1,000 yards and rush for 300 yards through five games of a season. Lamar did it for the fourth time in his career this season. The Commanders-Ravens matchup will be the first in NFL history where each quarterback entered averaging 60 rush yards. Mm. Crazy. I don't know what's more ridiculous. Ridiculous. The fact that he's on the list with those two Already, names, right. that Lamar's done it four, four times. times. Yeah. <laughs> four I think time. it's all ridiculous and exciting and amazing. Uh, all right, Jason, as a defender, what makes these guys so tough to go against? And, and maybe I should say, like, is there anything that you can even oh. handle as a defender, right? Oh. <laughs> so they do it all. Uh, they do it all. And I remember playing against Lamar in 2019, and we were undefeated, and we go into this game, and we had a receiver playing quarterback in practice. We got used to the speed. The game started. We were down 17 
to zero in the first oh. quarter because he was that fast. And I know they don't want to be compared, but you have no choice when you're looking at numbers like that. Yeah. These guys have a unique ability to be straight running backs when they tuck the ball and run, but they both have the touch on the ball to throw the ball deep, intermediate, at every single level. I look at what Lamar did, 300 and almost 50 yards passing and four touchdowns on Sunday. And then Jaden Daniels has been unbelievable. Going against that Browns defense, he was a playmaker amongst the chaos. Yeah. The Browns throw so much at you. He throws an early interception in that game, and he just continues mm. to go play after mm. play. They're both fantastic and so much fun to watch, and they make you jump off your couch just waiting for the next thing that they're going to do. It's still too late to flex that game, though, from a 1 o'clock CBS game. Yeah. CBS I mean, game. Yeah. They should have given you that. Tune game. in. I, I mean, been... it, there's levels. Like, right. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still. You, know level you, you keep working. Right? No. You keep yeah. working. Yeah. Um, Good point. That was good. Thank you. <laughs> I think the I two you. things that stood out for Jaden when it came to what you saw in college tape were ball placement and anticipation. And we've seen the ball placement. And then the anticipation is starting to show itself from the pocket, kind of like J-Mac was saying, with the unique running ability, but also from the pocket. Zach Ertz, you guys know this route. It's that wide and little short F post. Ball comes out right when he's starting to drop his hips. He's throwing essentially that guy open. Fantastic job by Jaden Daniels. McCaffrey in the slot. Watch when he releases this football when it comes to man coverage. Ball's coming out right now, right? Hawk, you know this, mm -hmm. as that guy is setting his stem at the top and dropping his hips to get open. When you're playing against man coverage, you better have that ball out of your hands quickly and have it to the right spot. Deami Brown on the go route. What's the saying? If he's even, he's leaving. He's gone, right? So beautiful throw down the sideline off of one hitch that he's not waiting for. This is probably one of my favorite throws when it comes to this season because heavy play action, this is a deep 18-yard comeback. Watch when he's cutting his ball loose. That receiver's not even starting to drop his hips. Wow. And the cushion is so big, in part because the ball is out of his hands yeah. so early. Stop right at the bottom of the screen. That ball, right when De'Ami Brown is dropping his hips, is coming out. And I think you're watching a passer start to really feel comfortable when it comes to where his guys are going to be and when he's got to get it out of his hands. You know, he's, he's better in the pass game than he is running the football. For which the reasons you says a lot, says a lot. Says a lot. because again, you've seen the graphic of how legendary what he's doing as a rookie is. And when you look at it from a receiver perspective, the guys on this football team, every receiver outside of McLaurin has had a different big game. Zacchaeus versus Arizona, Noah Brown versus the Giants, McAfee versus or McCaffrey versus Cincinnati, mm. and De'Ami Brown versus the Browns. Because these guys are live, and when McLaurin didn't have a first big two, first a big first two weeks, right. he said, "Yes, we have to get him the football." But it's more advantageous for him down the stretch if we get everybody else True. involved. Yeah. And that's exactly the Good way point. he's played the football game is that these guys know that they're live because if they're open, mm. they're getting it. What you want to do from a quarterback, if you want to judge him, is he making his receivers better?